Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk and today's video is entitled How to Make Your Old Septic Tank Legal. So why should you have to make your old septic tank legal? Why is this video of any importance to you? Well, simply because this is a very popular subject at the moment, very popular top topic. Why? Well, because all the rules and regulations in the UK changed on the 1st of January 2020. And it's now estimated, right, that 90% of septic tanks across the UK are now illegal. Now, that seems quite a dramatic statement I just made there, quite a scary statement, but it's true nevertheless. So, this is why I've made this video, because I want to show you a really simple and easy way how to make your old septic tank legal. That's the whole point I'm doing this video, right? But before we get into that, let me just show you the kind of things now that make septic tank legal, uh, illegal rather, right? Now, the government, as I said, have changed the whole landscape by introducing new rules and regulations. And these new rules and regulations are called the General Binding rules and you can go onto the government's website if you type in the general binding rules you'll see a whole list of um, uh, laws now rules and regulations which will help you to um, see if your septic tank is legal or illegal so what kind of things then are making septic tanks illegal well if your septic tank now smells you've got to replace it if your septic tank leaks you know, sewage effluent is leaking up from cracked pipes, a cracked, ta a, a cracked tank, it's leaking up to the grass above the septic tank or a soakaway, you've got to replace it. If your soakaway is blocked, so the sewage effluent can't drain away properly, you've got to replace it. And if your septic tank is discharging into a watercourse and by watercourse i mean a river a ditch a brook a stream it's now illegal so those are some of the laws that are making septic tanks illegal so why have the government introduced these new rules and regulations well basically they want to stop septic tanks from polluting the countryside they want to make the united kingdom um, a cleaner place right and you know you can't blame them because many septic tanks do discharge raw sewage into streams and, and, and into the soil and it's bubbling up or whatever and there's kids playing in it the next door neighbors are moaning because their their next door neighbor septic tank stinks so these are just you know they they're, they're, they're quite responsible when you start looking into the reasons as to why they're introduced all right so if you are unfortunately are one of the people whose septic tanks are smelling leaking or blocked or discharging into a watercourse what can you do well let me show you there's one more thing that you need to understand every septic tank now right and i'll write this down because this is even more important than what i've just showed you although that was very important right every septic tank must now have an MOT certificate. So, yes, we know it's not a car, we know it's not a motorbike, we know it's not a bus, but basically all septic tanks now installed before 2005 must have what well, I'm calling in this point to, to illustrate the point an MOT certificate and that certificate basically says that your old septic tank is legal and roadworthy is a, a, a good I suppose term in an art you know in, in, in that kind of sense but um, the certificate that we're talking about here is called an EN12566 certification. So that is equivalent, all right? So it's not obviously an MOT certificate, but it is equivalent to an MOT certificate. And if your septic tank 
has got one of these certificates, then it's legal because this certificate is a government certificate. Certificate. Now, all septic tanks that were installed after 2005 will have one of these certificates. So if building control comes around to your house or the environmental agency and you're able to hand them your septic tanks MOT certificate, which is an EN 12566, then they see that you're a responsible septic tank owner and your septic tank is legal in the eyes of the law. So how do you get an MOT certificate, an EN 12566 government certificate for your septic tank? Well, you've got three options. All right, and these are the only three options available to people who are trying to make the septic tank legal. So we got one, two, three. Right, so option number one, and this is a very popular option that like many people go down primarily because they don't know option two and three exist. But option number one is to get a firm in right, and spend anywhere from 12 to 15,000 pounds to replace old system All right with a new with new with new with a new septic tank and soak away so that's option one and these things normally come to light when you come to sell your house when you come to sell your house the solicitors know that you need to give them this um, MOT certificate, right? And um, if you haven't got one, then they'll say, well, you know, we don't know, we're all right, you may be a nice guy, but we can't just take your word for it that your septic tank, you know, is in, is in a good state of health, right? So if you haven't got one, then the people buying your house will get you to drop your house price by 12 to 15,000 quid, or, right, they'll want you to get a firm in to replace it. And that's typically what it would cost you. Option number two, Let's say you live by a river or a stream, something like that, then you can't put a septic tank and soak away in, right? You have to put a sewage treatment plant in. And this will cost you anywhere from 15 to 18,000 pounds for a new sewage, domestic sewage treatment, treatment plant. Now what the treatment plants do is that they convert raw sewage into safe, clean water that can go straight into a ditch, a river, or a stream. So these are going rates. I would recommend you get three firms around. If, you, if you're going for option one, get three firms around, or option two, get three firms around, and get three different quotes, right? But you'll find out that they will average out at that, round about those figures there. Now, option three is a very popular option for those people that know about it. And option three, will make your old septic tank legal. Now I forgot to say, it, once you've spent your 12 to 15,000 pounds there, you'll get your MOT certificate, an EN12566-1. If you spend 15 to 18,000 out, you'll get your MOT certificate, which is your EN12566-3, okay? So you're guaranteed to get a certificate for your system once you've gone down uh, option one or option two. Now, option three, right, as I said, is very popular only to those that know about it. And many firms won't tell you about option three because they can't make much money on it. Option number three, it's called an ecosystem septic tank converter. All right, and so this septic tank converter, right, is f about £13,000 cheaper than going down option one or option two. They're actually only 2999, right? And, uh, oh, I've converted. I meant to put converter there, right? So let me put that there, septic tank converter. And um, they're a small government, so they're a small government black box. And I'll show you a bit more about that in a minute. But these ecosystem septic tank converters, they're nuts, right? They're, um, as I said, a small government black box. They're like that. And they just basically, you dig a small hole, 
buy your, your tank you put one of these in they're not electrical or anything like that the, and in fact if I show you how they work here right let me just show you quickly how they work and uh, they're very hard to get at the moment to be honest I think that it, it's the company that makes them is in Germany they make them for the UK government um, because they're government approved and they're just selling like hotcakes at the moment during this COVID-19 so if you imagine that's your septic tank there right it's a very crude drawing but that's your septic tank then that's your old septic tank right and uh, I've got a green pen here so let me just put some grass on there look and so your your soak away pipe here would normally go straight into a ditch or the soil or something like that but what you do you put this small government black box in as they called an ecosystem septic tank converter and what it does your tank here is full up with with sewage sewage and once the tank have i got a blue pen anywhere no i haven't but anyway the sewage waste will uh will leave the tank it'll go into the ecosystem here and then it's converted into clean water which can then go straight into the soil or a river or a stream something like that right the ecosystem but the point is right these systems take about two or three hours to install you can do it you can get your builder to do it but the point is for uh, for just under three grand uh, EN 12566 you can get that MOT certificate for your tank and make your sep old septic tank legal without having to spend out 12, 13, 14,000 quid. And um, yeah, so that is my tip of the day. They're, they're amazing. Um, they are about 1.7 meters tall. They're about 1.5 meters long. Uh, they're about 1.2 uh, meters wide. And they, f and they work with any septic tank, whether you've got an onion septic tank, a concrete septic tank, a brick built septic tank, it doesn't matter how old your septic tank is. Your septic tank could be 20 years old or 200 years old, right? But these ecosystems, if I write it here for you, look. So when you get five minutes, if you go onto Google and type in ecosystem septic tank converter, you can see a lot more information on them on Google or on YouTube or wherever you go. So there you go. That's a really simple, legal and cost effective way to make your old septic tank legal. So I hope that's helped. If it, if it does help you, drop me an email and, and say, tell me how much money I've saved you. Um, I am partial to a pint if you want to buy me a pint if i've saved you 12 15 000 quid then please you know by all means send me a little donation which i'll happily uh you know buy myself a round or two uh, of drinks in the pub or you can also subscribe if you want if you want if you want to see more videos free videos like this you can subscribe to my youtube channel right YouTube channel and it's called my septic my 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 TV channel is called septic uh, is septic TV well I suppose it could be called that if it was abbreviated but septic tank TV if you subscribe to septic tank TV I will send you right you've got a chance to win and if you do win it I'll send you an extra large bucket of septic tank soak away worms which you can put right in your septic tank converter or your septic tank and they eat all the fat and the grease <coughs> excuse me and the sludge right they um prevent septic tanks from developing problems so if your septic tank doesn't leak and it doesn't smell and you want it to stay that way then a free bucket of worms right is just what you need but listen thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video today my name's jason you take care and i'll speak to you soon for more information just click the link below this video or visit septictank.co.uk for free help and advice.